Hey guys, KB here, and today we are going to do another episode of our Udinese career mode. So we're going to start off with a game against Lazio, and I used my black and white stripe kit, so I changed the team up a little bit, put Barini in left, wing, left mid, and then we start the game off like this. So we are the first team that actually gets a goal here very early on in the sixth minute with Muriel, who is actually becoming very good for us. That was our first, his first goal of the campaign for us. And then there goes half time after two minutes added on. That's the scores and there's that's they were dominating us for that, but nevertheless we were still winning one nil. So later on in the second half we go through with Muriel and similar to form, finesses it around the keeper, well under the keeper and then celebrates and scores. So Muriel has another go and gets hacked in the box. But I was. I don't think he is our best penalty taker, but I decided to take it with him. It's only fair because he did win the penalty, and plus, he did. Well, he was on a hat trick, so I saw I had to give it to him. So, a hat trick hero there for us, and sort of wrapped up the game here as the game ended 3 0 against Lazio away, which I think is a very, very good performance. And we did have more shots and shots on target, nevertheless. And they're the scores going in to the next game. So, Muro says, I've been playing good. I want to play I want to play the next game. So, I put him in the team. I changed the team up a bit here and there. And, yeah, I keep it as that. You may have saw it then. So, that's the team we are playing against. And this team, I'm sort of liking this team. Because we've got some very good young players like Fernandez, Muriel and Joel Campbell, etc. And there's not many old people in the team, apart from Di Natale, who, well, I can't really see him at the club for longer than two years or so. But yeah, Bia Biani hits it with his left foot in the side netting to make it half time as they've had more shots, sort of dominating. They dominated me over this game, but I never seem to win the shots or possession. I'm quite clinical, but here... Right at the end, in the late 80 minutes, we do a few fake shots with Gullerim and then he hits it home. This is the last person you expected to score a goal by foot, apart from defenders. And that wasn't it. So we go through with Muriel there, we fake shot, and then we just use them for pace. They got a massive gap wide open, poor defending. We hit it home, Palmer are losing 2 0. And that is. How it's going to end in this game. Uh, it was a tough game. It was tough to get going, as you can probably tell. I only had three shots and not that much possession. They were a good team, but at the end, I got more goals, which means more. So that's what I thought. And then Muir just says last match was good. And then I simulate to the next game. As as the month has turned, I will do a squad report. I do it on the end of every month. So it's October now while the players are going up. So you can look through few players are making a very, very good improvement, like Weidmer, Hutu. A couple of players I'd expect to maybe grow a bit more, but or grow, but it's all all in all it's pretty good actually and Muriel's now seventy five on which on Alton team that would be a gold, which is actually very good. But I don't really get what his downgrade was from last year because it was eighty rated to a seventy three. I don't know what was going on there. So here's just some of the loanees now. Some of them are doing good. Most of them have just stayed the same. But nevertheless, this is coming up to the end of the video. So thanks for watching. Leave a like. Subscribe for more. That is the end of the video. See you next time. Peace.